Today I'm joined by a special guest and I'll be talking about AlloyDB in comparison to CockroachDB in much the same way that I compared AWS Aurora against CockroachDB in the previous episode. So what I have here, I'll hop over to a terminal, I've created an instance, both a primary instance and a read-only or a read pool instance of AlloyDB in GCP. And because it creates the instance in a VPC, I've created a VM within that VPC. I'll show you the code. And what we have is exactly what you saw for the Cockroach and the Aurora and the Redis examples. We have a connection to a database and we kick off a write thread and a read thread. The write node will connect to the primary instance and the read node will connect to the read pool instance. I'll kick off both threads. I'll create a database table if necessary and populate it with one row. I'll make a write and then I'll publish a message onto a Go channel to say that the write has occurred and that a read needs to take place. And there's the code for the read. Like with the previous examples, it's okay if the value that I receive is greater than the value that I'm expecting, but if the value is less than I'm expecting, the database is in an inconsistent state. Let's leave that file and start the application. So within 44 write requests, we've hit an issue whereby we were expecting to see a value of 43, but we actually received a value of 42. This essentially means that like with AWS Aurora, GCP AlloyDB is eventually consistent. Again, there's no problem with eventual consistency, but it's something to be aware of if your database workloads require strong consistency.